Hello everybody and welcome to Visit Fowl Coast. It's Monday the 25th of May and it's absolutely blowing a gale and it's really windy and it's really foamy and it's, I should say, coming up to just about high tide. And I've just been for my flu jab. So when I came back in, I thought I'll take my little, my little video camera onto the seafront and show you just how beautiful the seaside can be in the middle of summer <laughs> oh dear me and this kind of explains as well why why we need why we need sea defenses <laughs> so this is the famous foam the famous foam of Cleveland's and I'm, I'm not quite sure what time my tide is I don't think it's yet by the look of it but this is all whipping up because of decaying algae in the water it's nothing to do with fairy liquid and detergent and all that kind of thing so i'm holding i'm holding the phone with two hands <laughs> i've got my hood up <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to not i'm trying to not blow away <laughs> but you can see now why we end up with the beach eroded oh goodness me it's blowy so all this, you can see little blobs of it that are blowing up and all this gets picked up by the wind and gets carried onto the, onto the road where it then ends up blowing everywhere, blowing all over your cars, blowing all over your clothes, <laughs> it sticks like you know what. <coughs> So there's, there's kind of little bits where it, where it cops it for the, for the worst. One is up there near the cafe and in fact you can see where it rounds the corner at the side of the cafe. The, the foam is making a line right up the side of the, the steps. This is another bad spot here next to this little outbuild. And then up at the other end near the five bar gate is another one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk down there and if I get foam on my coat <laughs> I'm gonna go mad. <laughs> Not that it's my coat, it's a second hand one donated from my lovely mother. And very warm it is too, I must say. So I thought given the fact that yesterday morning we were we were trolleying about in Blackpool on a, a bit of a breezy morning but not much to write on about. I thought this is a nice kind of contrast, compare and contrast, as they used to have you doing at school. And then accordingly, the weather forecast for the rest of the week is going to be lovely. So we'll have to wait and see whether they're right or wrong about that. I'm, I'm literally having to hold on to this with both hands. It's so windy. So windy, there's somebody here a lot taking pictures. <laughs> Don't get it on your clothes, mate. You'll never fetch it off. <laughs> and then when you get back in, you can feel your, you can feel your lips are all covered in salt. So rather than walking the full length of the beach and deafening you with the windy noise, I'm going to walk up to the five bar gate at the end, and then we can we can have a look at the um, water that's coming up at the, the tank traps as well look at the flag that's the that's the new um, seaside war flag for 2020 oh goodness me it's windy I'll join you in a minute a bit further down there so this is the other end of Russell Beach where we've just come from which is which is known as the tank traps and these concrete blocks are another story which we'll explore on another day. And there's two guys here fishing. I've just asked them what time high tide is and apparently it's now. So there you go. That's high tide in May. <laughs> yes, incredible, I know, but nonetheless it is. And you could, you could say it's a touch splashy. It's a touch splashy and a touch foamy. It's lovely. And look, there's a little patch of blue up there just come out for us, especially. So I thought I'd come for a walk to this end of the the seafront and let you look at some Oh big noisy waves. And I'm not I'm not going any any further that way. Because that's asking to get wet, that is. I love watching it like this. 
when it's when it's big big steep crashing waves it's amazing but you can see you can see the the marked difference between how big the waves are here and how they're banging against the sea wall and then you just turn around slightly and then you look at them against the um, beach and they're just tapering to my thinness and every time I turn around there's another big wave comes <laughs> that's called um, a sod's law I think that one Woo, that's a big one so we're gonna we're gonna set off now and and, and go back that way right come it makes your nose run in fact we'll go up this bit here that's not quite as quite as steep if you come on here in a really high tide in the middle of winter this is Russell School over the other side of the seawall and if you come up here on a really bad day in winter you, you can't you can't come down this bit it's not possible it's too dangerous it's just amazing though to watch I love watching it like this <coughs> Woo! and then you turn and you miss it <laughs> Amazing. You won't stand a chance in that, would you? And it's so cold as well. I mean, it's not exactly warm. But cold, cold, vicious water. And I think you'd uh, you'd be a, a, a dunner. Now, I'm just going to zoom in. Can you see there's a little green... Where is it? Where's it gone? There's a little green dot just about in the centre of the screen in the middle of the water and that is the end of one of the marker boys for the um, the, the grey marker poles and I don't know how tall they are when you stood on the beach but they've got to be 20 or 30 foot and you can just see it in the middle of the the shot so that gives you some idea how deep the water is what a sight amazing and then when you turn around you can see the tower look in the distance just down there so I hope you've enjoyed that little blow on a Tuesday morning <laughs> breathe deep fill your lungs full of um, ozone And then down here, they're just ordinary normal waves. This is the outfall for the land drainage of the fields at um, Russell School. So water comes out of that concrete channel and drains onto the drains onto the beach. And you can see the turbulence that this concrete arrangement creates. It's amazing to watch. Right, I'm going to scoot back now to um, Rabbit Towers and get my get my hands warm and have a nice warm brew. So don't forget, make sure that you've hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications, and then you'll know when we've uploaded new content. And if you've enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed watching me get cold and blown away give it a like and we'll see you later. Bye for now.